bet y'all can't guess where we're going. Where are we going, James? James, put your seatbelt on. I'm gonna hit something hard. You know that if you don't put your seatbelt on, it's gonna ding, 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 ding. No, mine don't do that. It does do that. I took the dinger out. No, you didn't. If we don't put our seatbelts on, it will ding. So no worries, y'all. We always wear a seatbelt. <laughs> so I took my little light piece that I thrifted. That's got the little picture holder plate stand thing that was the lamp was attached. I took it apart. So now we're headed to Lowe's. I'm gonna see if they have what I need, the lamp kit I need there. But if not, I have a couple in my cart on Amazon that will work. So I'll just or decide which one I want and order that. And I'll just have to wait a couple days till it gets here. Y'all know me, I don't wanna wait. I wanna do it tonight, but you know, whatever. I have no patience. Do I, James? Smile for the camera, Buster. <laughs> do I have patience, James? That is not in your vocabulary. But I've gotten better with that, haven't I? Anything's better than that. <laughs> I've learned patience. I'm learning patience. I was fixing to say. I'm learning patience being married to this man. God knows what he's doing, y'all. <laughs> anyway, so we're headed to Lowe's. Catch up with y'all in a bit. Buster. Buster. Buster, look at me. <laughs> Just like your daddy. Hey, do you know where we're at? Yeah, he knows where we're at. Look at me. <laughs> Buster. <laughs> like clockwork. <laughs> okay, paint time. Yay! Put your seatbelt on, James. I got all of my stuff for the light. My little thrift flip is gonna cost me a bloody fortune. <laughs> I'm saving us money, James. I bought it at the yeah. thrift store. Mm -hmm. I bought it at the thrift store. Save us right into the poor house. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's gonna be cute. Um, the spray paint we can use on other things. And the lamp, the things I had to get were basically the same price as they were gonna be if I would ordered it from Amazon, so. Anyway, now we're headed to get something to eat because your girl didn't cook no dinner. Shame on me. So this will be our only meal we can eat out. This is our weekend meal we can eat out. The rest of the time I gotta cook. James, don't act like I don't cook. You know I cook. I'm gonna fire up smoke. Ooh, even better. You cooking. <laughs> even better, that's a win-win. I like it. Anyway, so we're gonna go get some Zaxby's. Don't you think, Zaxby's? Yeah. That's where we're headed. So, check, 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 check. What else we need to check off our list, James? He's very disappointed. He thought I was gonna be gone in the morning. And I just reminded him, well, I just told him that my hair appointment got reminded changed. Reminded me. I just told you that my hair appointment got changed. I was supposed to have a hair appointment tomorrow, but instead it got put off to next Thursday me and Buster was gonna have a guy's <laughs> So they gotta put up with me tomorrow. But no worries, I've gotta run to Target tomorrow. I gotta run to Hobby Lobby tomorrow. I'll run in Michaels. So I'll just be about my business and you and Buster can still have y'all's day. I'll just be shopping. So y'all gotta put up with me with another, about a week of this. I think tomorrow's gonna be a hat day because it's gonna rain, isn't it? So tomorrow will be a hat day, and then y'all may have to put up with me with this hairstyle for a few more days because this is the only thing saving my sanity until I get my hair done. Right, James? Uh, your sanity's gone. <laughs> it went right out the window when I married you, didn't it? <laughs> anyway, welcome to my life, y'all. It's fun. I really have a good time. I enjoy it. Oh, we almost got a smile. <laughs> oh, we did. Y'all see that? Y'all see that? Ah, ah. <laughs> Grinning ear to ear. <laughs> All right, y'all. Peace. I'll catch up with y'all in a little bit. Okay, it is the next day. Ooh. 
and I did spray paint this last night because we're supposed to have rain today. I will show y'all the paint I use, but I just spray painted it all in a matte black, like a metal finish. And I mean, it already looks 100% better. I did take it apart yesterday um, and I'll show you what I picked up, how I'm gonna try to put it together. So let me go get all that real quick. Y'all don't be scared, it's just me. This is real life morning time. Um, okay, I was gonna show y'all. This is the bulb I'm going to use. I will have them linked down below. I get them from Amazon. They come in a pack of, I think they come in a pack of 12 and I get the one that kind of has like the amber glow. So this is the bulb I was referring to. Um, I did buy the little chandelier kit to go on top and I did buy this piece to slide over this. And of course, I had to get my cord. I got all of this from Lowe's. Um, I'm hoping it works. And I can always paint this black. I'm gonna try it both ways. I'm gonna try it with the white first, with the little bulb, and then I'm, this is my coffee making. And then if I don't like that, I may end up painting it black. But let me show you the paint I used. This is the paint I used, the hammered, the matte hammered. And it doesn't say the color on here. So I just picked like the black lid, but, um, and then this is how it turned out. Let me get my, let me see. So I'm going to attempt to put this together. I took it apart. I think I could put it together. <laughs> so y'all wish me luck and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. <laughs> y'all, I did it. I did it all by myself with the exception of, I had to have James strip the wire off the little pieces that I had to put around the thing. I just could not get those little strippers to work. He did that, but I mean, I wired it up. I did it. Now, I do have the other one like this. I did end up spray painting it, and I'm gonna show y'all how I did that. I think I'm a genius, but, um, so I will be replacing this with the black one like this, but let me just show y'all. Are y'all ready? Are you ready? <gasps> Look at that. Yours truly did that. So I told James he is not the only engineer in the family. I've learned so much from him, and this is how I have figured out how to spray paint that little cylinder without getting it all over me. So let me show y'all. I used one of those thrifted candles that would fit inside the cylinder. I put a glove on this hand, I spray painted it, then I came in and got these clips, these clamps, clamped it on the candle, stood it up, have the fan blowing on it, I'll turn it back on. And how genius am I, y'all? I know, I know, I know. Toot my own horn, I'm patting my own self on the back, cause I just, <laughs> just kidding. But anyway, if you do run into a problem like that, that is how you can solve that. <laughs> so, I like to share these things with y'all because <sighs> I'm literally just winging it half the time, but. Anyway, now I've got to figure out what beautiful dish. I think I'm going to use a dish that I'm going to put on that little easel. Oh, I think it's so beautiful. I'm so excited. <laughs> Okay, this is as good as it gets for you girl today. <laughs> it's gonna be rainy and nasty, so I am running out real quick. Gonna run to Target, take my rug back. Bath and Body Works is right next door. I'm gonna step in there and get a couple candles that are on sale and have a coupon. And then I'm getting back home and gonna call it a day. Um, I've done a lot already this morning. Um, I did the lamp myself. I'm so proud of me. I love where I have it, but I think when I, um, I go to Hobby Lobby tomorrow with Delana to pick out her ribbon. Then I'm going to get some different greenery to go by my little lamp. Um, so that's the only thing I'm going to change. I have my little ironstone platter and I love it. It is just, uh, I love it. And I did it myself. Y'all, y'all don't understand. That is such an accomplishment. I'll say y'all don't understand. I don't know if y'all understand or not, but that is truly an accomplishment. Um, to know how to do that myself um, and actually do it and only needed James' help just to strip the wires. That's amazing. <laughs> um, 
I hung up my peg rag in my laundry room. I love it in there. It's gonna be great for when I wash his hats or wash bras, I can hang it on there. Um, I just got my little crafting apron hanging on it now and a little spring and sprung sign just because I had it. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's gonna work out perfectly and I didn't have to move my sign, which I'm glad. So that worked out great. So all in all, I have used every bit of my thrifted goodies. Um, so it's a win-win. So now once I get my rug situation tackled, it's all gonna be good and done. On to the next project. <laughs> whatever that may be it's gonna be having a yard sale because I've got to get all that stuff out of that room in there um, so I've got to do that uh, I try to figure out when to have it and I don't know if I really want to have it at my house <sighs> but at the same time I don't want to lug all that mess around so I don't know I'll figure that out I wish I knew somebody that would come and just like look at it and give me a you know a bulk price for it because there's really it's good stuff I'm not selling crap I'm selling stuff that I have just held on too long or that I bought and I never used or maybe I was using and I swapped it out I mean it's stuff that I love I just I literally just don't have any room for it bottom line so I really wish I could find somebody that would just want to come and buy it all Anyway, I wonder if I could have it right there at the, like, the little community center. Hmm. It's an idea. I know, I'll figure it out. But, um, let me, it's starting to rain. Let me get to Target, get all this handled, and see what the rest of the weekend holds. I'll catch up with y'all in a bit. I got totally saturated. Oh my God, my hat is soaked, my shirt is soaked, my shorts are soaked, my umbrella is gone, it's broken. It was like, oh my God, <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> Y'all, I'm soaked. I mean, there's not an inch of me. My shoes have puddled of water in them. Oh my gosh, I feel like, you ever seen these people that they're in the rain and the wind and it takes their umbrella, umbrella, <laughs> umbrella and just bends it up in the opposite direction. That's what happened to me. Um, tore my umbrella up. I mean, it wasn't really helping me anyway. As you can see, I'm so, <sighs> thank God my car was at the very first part because had it not been, I don't know. And then it was lightning and at least I got my rug. <laughs> I, mean, I did not know it was gonna come a torrential downpour flood. But here we are. So I'm headed back to the house. I'm gonna get there as safely as possible and change clothes and call it a day. So I'll catch up with y'all there. I know y'all been waiting to see the rug saga is now solved i got this one at target i swapped that another one out like that for this size perfect and yeah i love it it's perfect <laughs> so y'all can rest easy now the rug saga has been solved it's now over we move on to the next dilemma <laughs> okay i'm gonna fill y'all in on the next dilemma that happened so after i got the rug put down I got, you know, dry clothes on. Um, I was sitting here. I realized I broke a nail. I'm like, crap. So I said, I'm going to go tomorrow and get my nails done. And then the more I thought about it, I'm like, oh, no. So I'm just going to go now and get my nails done. So I just went and got my nails redone and told them that that was a bad set that I got. I had just gotten them done um, last Friday, broke one that next day that saturday had to go get it fixed and then i broke three today and i'm just like i don't know if it was like bad powder i get the dip i said i don't know if it was bad powder or whatever i said just give me my black i never have issues with the black <laughs> so
So I got my nails redone and then I got back home and we went and picked up James's prescriptions. And that's it, I'm exhausted. It's like 4.30 and I'm exhausted. <laughs> I mean, I've been doing all kinds of construction work around here. I built a lamp. Maybe James is gonna laugh at me. Anyway, but I am happy with my little lamp, easel lamp. Um, I would love to find a pretty, um, a different kind of little platter, maybe that has some kind of design or something on it, but my little ironstone platter will do. I took it off of my little black shelf that was hanging on the wall, put it over there, and I love it. Um, I did, while I was at Target, I didn't show y'all, but I will. They had some of those like real touch tulips, the little bitty ones in the dollar spot. And when I was in there the other day, they only had like yellow that had orange at the bottom and it just, that just really didn't catch my eye and you know, it's not something that I would like. So I noticed when I was returning my rug that they had put some more out. And so I picked up some pretty pink and baby pink ones and I took down the, the oh, let me just show you. Let me get up and show you what I'm talking about taken the little white ones that I wasn't crazy about that I'd gotten from Michael's a few years ago and I replaced it in here in my ironstone picture. And I just think it's so cute, dainty, delicate, and I love that. And I love the way that the pink kind of plays off of the pink on those Johnson Brother plates. So I did that. And so I had a little bit of that extra greenery so let me show you what I did. So I replaced that big chunk of greenery with this little bit of greenery there. And I think it's perfect because it doesn't take away from my counter space. And now I don't have to buy any because I used what I had. So it was a win-win again. That's about all I've got in me today. I just, I can't, I'm tired. We had a restless night, James. Oh. <laughs> He was fighting his sleep all night. Finally at 4 o'clock in the morning, I just grabbed Buster and we just got up and come got in the recliner because he was just fighting and kicking and punching and talking in his sleep. And I was just, I was like, I'm done. Because I was so scared he was going to do something and like hurt Buster. So, I was just like, I'm done. So, I got up and got in the recliner. So, I'm a little bit tired today. But it's been a productive day. So, yeah, I think I'm going to call it good. And we'll just pick up tomorrow. So, I'll catch up with y'all tomorrow. Mm -hmm.